Hello everyone, today we will do a revision on 10 sad math questions. Let's start with the first question. The formula below is often used by project managers to complete the estimated time to compare a job where O is the shortest completion time, P is the longest completion time, and M is the most likely completion time. We have E equals O plus 4M plus P over 6, which the following correctly gives B in terms of E, O, E, O, and M. So in this question, this question in a topic which is called make subject. So you have to isolate B. How can you isolate B? Divided both sides over one. You can make cross multiplication also. You can multiply all the equation times six. So you so you have uh, O plus four M plus P equals six E. So subtract O plus 4M from both sides, so E equals 6E minus O minus 4M, so that's easy. Very easy question. And let's move to the next question. In this question, we have Y greater than 2X minus 1 and 2X greater than 5, which of the following consists of the Y points of the all points that satisfy the system of inequality above. Okay, look at this inequality, we have 2x minus 5, right? So, I think no problem if you want to subtract 1 from both sides, so it will be 2x minus 1, it's small, is greater than 5 minus 1, which equals 4. You can plug in 2x minus 1 in the first inequality, so it will be y is greater than 4, so the answer is b. Okay, let's move to the next question. If we have a question like that, and the figure above RT equals TU, what is the value of X? We have RT equals TU. Okay, so we have TUR, this is an isosceles triangle. So we can find the measure of R and the measure of T. You know that the sum of the interior measure of uh, any triangle equals 180. So we can find the measure of R or the measure of U by subtracting 180 minus 114 then divided the final by 2 so 0 minus 4 it will be 10 minus 4 which equals 6 7 minus 1 which equals 6 so the sum is 66 so both angles equals 33 it means measure angle r equals 33 and also u equals 33 so how can we find x for this triangle which is s u and we have here x. x is called an exterior angle and you know that the exterior angle equals the sum of the two interior angles except the adjacent okay so measure of angle x equals 31 plus 33 which equals 64 so that's this question 4 we have to 2x plus 6 plus 4 equals x plus 3 which what is the solution set of the equation above? I think you can plug in, it's more uh, easier. You can put uh, a positive number like 5. So we have uh, 2 times 5, which equals 10. 10 plus 6 equals 16. Rule 16 equals 4. 4 plus 4 equals 8. So the left hand side equals 8. For the right hand side, we have 5 plus 3, which equals 8. So the left hand side equals the right hand side. So that's right. Also, we have here 5. Also, we have here 5. So check C and D, and D is wrong. So check negative 1, because it's common if we have negative 1 here, 2 times negative 1, which equals negative 2. Negative 2 plus 6 equals 4, the square root of 4, which equals 2, plus 4, which equals 6. This is, this is for the left hand side. For the right hand side, we have a negative 1 plus 3, which equals 2. So left hand side not equal to the right hand side, so both answers wrong. So the answer is B. Let's move to question five. In this question, which which of the following complex numbers is equal to five plus twelve i minus nine i squared minus six i for i equals root negative one? So we have five plus twelve i minus 9i squared plus 6i, okay? Before adding the like terms, you know that i squared equals negative 1, i power 3 equals negative i, i power 4 equals 1. So 
very important. I know this rules. So I square will be positive nine. You can cancel. You can cancel I square because I squared equals negative one, negative one times negative nine, which equals positive nine. Now we can add, we have 12i plus 6i, which equals 18i, and i plus nine, which equals 14. So the answer is what? So this is the answer, the answer is D. Okay. Question, question six. We have x minus six squared plus y plus uh, 5 squared equals 16. The xy plan, the graph of the equation above is starting. Points P is on the circle and has coordinate 10 and negative 5. If line segment PQ is the length of the circle, what are the coordinates of the point Q? You know that the equation of the circle, which is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals the radius squared. Okay? H and k, this is the center. And this number, this is the radius. Okay, this letter is the radius. So we can find the center here. The center it will be six and negative five. Just changing the sign. The radius then equals root sixteen, which equals four. You want to draw the circle. This is the center, which is six and negative five. The radius four. Now we have a diameter which is eq. Speak you like that. And this is P and this is Q. This is the diameter. If P is what we have, P is 10 and negative 5. How can we find Q? You can use logic to answer this question. Also, you can use the rule of the distance between two points. Also, you can use midpoint uh, rule. But I think logic is better. You have negative 5, negative 5 the y coordinate so it will be negative 5 10 become 6 so 6 subtract 4 it will be 2 so the answer is 2 and negative 5 so the answer is let's move to the next question okay question 7 a group of 202 people went on our night camping trip we have a group of 202 people Uh, taking 60 tens, okay, with them some of them held two and the other held four, assuming all the tens were followed to the rest of the person block, because we exactly have of the tens were two persons tens, or two person tens. Okay, now we have uh, two types of tens, held two people and held four, okay. This one it will be x, and this one it will be y. So we will have two equations. The first one for the number of tens, we have x plus y. Their sum equals 60. Okay. For the people, it will be 2x plus 4y. Their sum equals 202. Using calculator mode 5, 1. Okay. We will have on the calculator a, b, c. Just have the calculations. X, Y, and 60, 1, 1, 60, then 2, 4, 202. So X will be equals 19. So the answer is for the next question. Question 8. We have F of X equals X squared 3 minus 9X, and G of X equals X squared minus X minus 3, which for the following expressions is equivalent to F of X over G of X. Okay. Now we have x squared 3 minus 9x over x squared minus 2x minus 3. So you have to factor the numerator and the denominator. So it will be, we can take x as a common factor. So it will be x squared minus 9. And for the denominator, x squared, it will be x and x. 3 will be 1 and 3. So we have a negative sign here, a positive 1 here. Okay. For the numerator, you have x squared minus 9. This whole difference between two squares, if you have x squared minus y squared, will be two brackets, positive negative. Take the square root of the, of the first, and then the square root of the second. So it will be x times the denominator, x plus 1, times x minus 3. So take the square root of the first, which is x and x. 
square root of 9, which is 3. One is positive and the other one is negative. Now you can cancel x minus 3 from all the numerator and the denominator. So we'll have the final answer. It will be x times x plus 3 over x plus 1. So the answer is 3. Okay. Let's move to the next question. Question 9. The expression x minus 2, x is x to the power minus 2, y to the power half over x power third, uh, y power negative 1, where x is greater than 1 and y is greater than 1, is equivalent to what? In this question, we have x power negative 2, y power half over x power third, y power negative 1. Before answering this question, you know that the square root of y equals y power half. This is the exponential form, and this is the radical form, okay? Also, if you have 1 over y, you can rewrite it in y to the power negative 1, okay? Also, if you have y to the power negative 2, it means 1 over y squared. So, let's go back to the question. We have x to the power negative 2, so it will be x power 2 times x power 3rd and from the, name, the numerator we have y power half times y so it will be y to the power 3 over 2 know that this multiplication sign and both cases are the same so you have to add the powers half plus 1 which equals 3 over 2 half plus 1 it will be half plus you know that 1 is 2 over 2 so it will be 3 over 2 also on the denominator of the same, x2 plus half, we have 2 plus half, we start with that third, so it will be 6 over 3 plus third, which equals 7 over 3. So the final answer will be uh, y, uh, root y, and the outer, so it will be y bar 3. Okay. Also, in the denominator, we have root and over outer 7, and we have cube root of x plus 7. It means that it will be y root y, and in the denominator, it will be x squared times x inside. Okay, so the answer is d. Okay, this is pretty important. Last question. The expression third x squared minus 2 can be rewritten as third x minus k times x plus k, where k is a positive constant. What is the value of k? How can we find uh, the value of k in this question? As we said before, if you have x squared minus y squared, this is difference between two squares. So it will be x minus y times x plus y. So, before, uh, before applying this rule, we will take third as a common factor, so it will be third times x squared minus 6. As you know, that third times 6 equals 2. Now we can apply difference between two squares, so x squared is x and x, 6, which equals root 6 and root 6, taking the square root for both. And we have one with negative and the other one is positive, so the value of k by comparing equals root 6 with density. Thank you for watching. See you next time.